So hello guys, I was this weekend talking to some friends and they told me that they had the impression that they were actually spending more and more time on meetings after the pandemic hit than before and they didn't have a lot of time to actually be productive and do some work. So as a data person I am, I had to check it out. So I am going to show you in this video how you can connect Power BI with your Outlook calendar and check if you are having more meetings, if you are spending more time on meetings than before, so you can just tell your boss why you're not productive. Let's get started. Okay guys, so this is actually easier than I expected. To get data from Outlook, this is Office 365, the one I have. So you follow the same ex steps if you have this, the same one. Let me see. So. Here we have get data, you go and just write exchange, it's called exchange. Unfortunately, why don't they put out look? Anyhow, exchange, connect. This threw me off a little, it says mailbox address, like what is that? After Google it, it's just basically your email address, so why don't write that? So that's all you need to do. Then to connect, if it is Office 365, you just connect with your Microsoft account. It's actually pretty easy. Connect. I mean, it's just like really, really quickly. And here we have all the tables. Now, we just want to have the calendar data, but you have email, meeting requests, people task, you have all kinds of stuff in there. Transform data. And we're not going to do a lot in here. We're just going to convert this into date because this is the one that I'm going to use. And then we're going to, I'm going to copy a calendar basically. So this is exchange data. And then I'm going to do blank query. I have this calendar for you. I've already shared it, so it's the same. Calendar. I can post a link down below if you are new to the channel and don't know what this is. Just paste the code. And here we have the calendar. I need to check. So the calendar, the data for this starts in 2017. So I just need to change this to 2017 so the calendar is complete. And that's all you need to do. This is super quickly. Really good actually. I'm uh, really positively surprised how easy this is. Now let's check if there is a relationship. I think I have that disabled nowadays. So I have to go start and date. This might happen to you automatically if it is not disabled. So now that we have the data in Power BI, we're going to visualize it. And I found a while back Kate, she is um, like a Tableau analyst. They are so good at, you know, uh, data visualization. Tableau is so much more flexible in data visualization. She has a very cool visualization on meetings. So she, here you have by month. And then the size of the ball, I think it is total time spent in meetings. So that's the total time I spend in a meeting. I'm going to do the size of the ball for how many meetings, okay? But something like this. We won't be able to do it exactly the same, but similar. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to put year, month, and you have to make sure that your month is sorted by the year, month column. If you use my uh, calendar, otherwise, you know, your calendar, make sure that it's sorted properly. And then we're going to put the number it has to be as a number, otherwise we're going to get into all kinds of trouble because this scatter chart will not, won't allow us to put it on the y-axis. Let me show you. So when I put the year number, year month on the x-axis, to put the number on the y-axis it has to be a number, and then it has to be summarized. So we're going to put a maximum there. And then in order to be able to properly display it, you have to put on the legend also. We will get rid of the uh, legend because we don't want to see it we just want the count and then as a size i want to have the count of subjects so as you can see i didn't start using outlook 365 this version until november 2017 that's why everything is blank and then perfect 
So we are going to... I want to see only... Now you can do this as, as you like, huh? but I just want to see 2019 and 2020, which is those months in there. I want to have, because this doesn't, it just gives you an idea of when you have the meetings, but if you want to say that, see that you're actually having more meetings, we need to add a little bit more to this. So I'm going to put year a month in here. And then I'm going to put uh, the subject and I'm going to, not there, not there. I'm going to put subject in there. Yeah. And I'm going to do a count. So there is a number of meetings by month and I'm going to put it as a bar chart, column chart, which one is it? This is a column chart, okay. So, and then I want to see it on the legend. I want to see the data labels. There you have them. So we are going to line them up. I'm going to decrease the bubble size because that is gigantic. It doesn't work for us. We're going to have it a little bit smaller. Something like that I would have loved maybe 25. I would have loved to con be able to conditional format it, but we won't be able to do it like she did. Unfortunately, there's no conditional formatting, at least nothing that I could find on this uh, scar chart. So unfortunately, this, it is formatted by legend at the moment, which but they so it's not very very useful. So I'm going to get rid of the axis of the title, sorry. And this is our months. I want the chart to finish on day 32 because there's only 31 days, that's enough. I want to make this transparent so you can see the ball. And I'm going to get rid of the legend and the X. So there you have it. So now this is 2019, this is 2020. And you can see here, you cannot visualize it, unfortunately. I, I wish I could conditional format this. It would have been a lot easier. Uh, maybe if I make it a little bit smaller, I don't think so, but let's give it a go. 28. No, you still can't see it. But you can see it here clearly. Um, you see that on March, let me do, do this a little bit bigger so I line better. On March, I had 71 meetings, while on March, previous year, I have 38. So for sure, I'm having more online meetings than before meaning that probably having less time to do some practical work. If you're finding the same, you can just plot the data and uh, show whoever needs to know that you need to cut down on meetings, basically. So you can actually have some time to do some work. So the power of data from a question to an answer in how many minutes? Like 10 minutes? So this is over today. I'll see you again on Friday with a DAX Radius video. And until then, just as always, take care, stay healthy, stay home, and see you on Friday. Bye-bye.